hey, can you really remove bubbles with vibration? I don't think so. It never worked for me, but everybody down in the comments seems to think so. Let's fire up the vibrating table. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> it's working. Add some bubbles. The bubbles are definitely rising up, but uh, <laughs> look how many bubbles are still left in the cup. Well, you're gonna say that's not a fair test. The sparkling water is infused with carbon dioxide. I mean, this is gonna keep making bubbles, so that's hardly a fair test. So, okay, okay, I'll go along with that. Let's move on to a real world test. A few weeks ago, we made this little guy. Remember this guy? I used a pressure pot on this guy, and I caught a couple little bubbles. Caught a little bubble right there. Got a little bubble right there. So instead of using the pressure pot, let's just go ahead and just use vibration, see what happens. Mixed up a batch of resin. Let's get it stirred. All right, good enough. Let's pour this boy. Now remember, we're gonna pour it, but we're not gonna use anything except vibration to handle the bubble chores. Stand up here. Woo, shaking pretty good. Seeing any bubbles come out? Well, that was pretty good shaking. I'm just gonna let it shake a little more. Just gonna keep shaking it. No bubbles. Whatever bubbles are gonna come out, we shook them out. All right, let's let this cure and see what it does. What do you guys think? <laughs> you think we have a winner? Think we're bubble free? No, no bubbles showing. We're nice and hard. I think it's ready to come out. Let's take a look at what we got. Bubble number one is right here. Bubble number two is right there. Teeny, teeny bubble number three right there. Bubble number, tiny little bubble four there. Uh-oh, I see a big problem. Let's see what we got going on here. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. Big old through bubble on that side. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, another little bubble there. Yep. A pretty wicked bubbleage, I would say. Now let's compare that in a fair side-by-side -side comparison to the pressure pot, which delivered that little bubble. It's interesting that that's a spot that wants to catch a bubble is right there. That's a problem spot. And I got the little bubble right there, but oh boy, we got bubbles, 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 bubbles. So what can we conclude from this test? We can conclude that vibration by itself ain't gonna get you there. It's just not. So um, how about a second test? Why don't we do vibration while pouring pressure pot and see if we can get a, a more perfect casting. Got the resin mixed up. I'm gonna go quick here because we're gonna do a bunch of different things here on this boy. Okay, small amount of resin should be pretty well mixed. Let's fire up the old vibrato. I condomized the table because I saw I was getting resin schmutz on it, so we don't want that. All right, so we're vibrating. Let's pour some in. I notched the mold so I know which way is up. So I'm gonna, not only am I vibrate, I'm gonna rock. I'm gonna rock side to side to see if we can't release out of that problem area. So let's just see, if we're vibrating, we're rocking, shaking pretty good. Okay, I think we've done all that we can do here. Let's head over to the pressure pot get that thing in the pot and let the pressure pot do its work. As always, our witness cup tells us what's going on. Yep, ready to go. Pull it out of the tank. Let's see what we got. Now remember, we tried them all. We vibrated. 
We pressured, we rocked, we rolled, we did our thing. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. I already see troubles ahead. I already see troubles in paradise. It's hellish. It's hellish. I'm going to get 50 more comments about guys who say they can cast this thing with their eyes closed. I already know it. I already know it. All right. Let's see what we got. Wow. This thing is just fighting us every, every step of the way. Has with every casting. Nice wicked bubble there. Super nice wicked bubble there. Hidden buried bubble right in there, I think. Is that what that is? Looks like it. Looks for all the world like a blister, like a bubble. Yep. It's a bubble. Injection molding can do things that resin casting can't. Conversely, resin casting can do things that injection molding can't. It's really all about the shape you want to cast. I'm going to declare a <laughs> vibration to be absolutely no help at all. There's a reason why a vibrating table will never replace the pressure pots, and I'll show you that right now. Mix up our final batch of resin for these tests. And I'm going to put an even amount in each cup. Not much in there. About the same in there. Okay, this tub I'm going to put in the pressure pot. And this pot we're going to vibrate. See if that compressor kicks on in a minute while we vibrate this. There's a reason that a vibrating table will never replace your pressure pot. It just can't. It can't do what a pressure pot can do. And that reason is foaming. I buy my resin in one gallon buckets and very often in five gallon buckets and that takes a long time to use that stuff up and sometimes months. You open the jug, you close the jug, you open the jug and every time you do that you introduce air into the jug and with the air comes moisture. This was the jug we poured and just vibrated and this is the jug we, put, we did we put in the pressure pot. Let's look at them. So this is just with vibration. And here you can clearly see the effects of moisture on this resin. It's just, <laughs> it's just devastating. And this is the exact same batch of resin, same everything, except this was put on a vibrating table and, and this was put in the pressure pot. The pressure pot completely suppresses the foaming of urethane resins caused by moisture. Hey, if you like this video, hit that like button. It really does help the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.